Generative AI, this will be a case study regarding the concept of Dacia Bigster, a comparison between Viscom and Spark 3D. And we see over here the output from Spark 3D. We see that there are many fine details added over here onto the model. And uh, this is the case study. So the image was generated within Viscom, as you can see it over here. And I also obtained the following sharp generated model in this case, which will be this one and also one smooth generated 3D model. Now, to better analyze the geometry, I will import all of these within Blender. So I already have the scene over here prepared. We're gonna see how the models all will be within GLB file format. We see that the file size for the one within Spark 3D will be almost uh, more than double. And I will import those. And now we have the following models loaded. We're going to see that this model over here will be one of those. So let's just identify which out of those were the following. So we see over here the following model. If I will enable a texture, we're going to better visualize that those two will be the one made with Viscom. So the one with textures and this one will be the one made with Spark 3D. So I'm just going to rotate all of these cars 90 degrees, so they will have the same orientation. And I will now move them to match the same position. So regarding the size of the output models, if I will just create a simple mesh, in this case a cube, this will have two meters. So we see that none of those will be outputted at the true scale. I, I was expecting this form to have them um, generated at the real scale, let's say approximately something like uh, almost five meter in length, but we see that that is not the case. Now, regarding the geometry overview, let's take a look at the statistics. So I will enable those within Blender. We're gonna say this model will have half a million triangles. This one, which will be the, the smooth one, only 95K in this case. And we're gonna see that the one made from Spark 3D will have two million triangles. And we can already see the details for the model over here. They, they will be quite well defined. We see over here the tire, the rims, and um, also the elements within the front of the car. If I will also shade this, this should look a little bit better. So this is the shades mode and this is automatic. And we see how many details that uh, 3D model from Spark 3D will have compared to the others. Also, in this case, Viscom didn't manage to fill all the surface over here in front of the car. We're going to have this gap. But we see that the model generated from Spark 3D will be far superior compared to the others. But keep in mind that it will also have 2 million triangles that will shape this. We see over here on the bottom side that it added quite a lot of details. Something that it's not also uh, present in the models from Viscom. So again, regarding cars, it looks to have a lot of good references. It will be able to add a lot of elements. Over here, we see some elements from the suspension of the car. We see over here the brakes also added. Over here, those will not be added, only for, for the front wheels in this case. So I'm really curious what is your opinion regarding this. I really think that tools like Viscom will need to step up and improve their 3D models because currently Spark 3D is only offering 2 million triangles, but as soon as they will reach a threshold, maybe four to five, then the models will have an incredible, incredible amount of details. And uh, other tools will have to step up. CSM already, outputs to million triangles. Trip also um, can output models that will have will have a lot more triangles. So it's time also for other tools such as Viscom to step up. Viscom has mostly advanced on image and video generation and they really made some really good breakthroughs over there, but they will need to step up within uh, the 3D model aspect. 
So I'm really curious what is your opinion regarding this. I will position a similar video over here on the left side and I will also add the subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.